Hello and welcome. I am your Saturday night. This is your Saturday night. Hey, what are we doing? You know what we're doing. We're painting. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing here. We're going to start painting. We're going to have an absolutely fabulous time. Or at least we're going to really try to. All right. So you know what? I'm not going to stand on ceremony. This is something we've done now a few times. And uh, frankly, I think the best way to do it is to uh, just get to it. So we got all sorts of new things going on. But let's talk about the ones that are important. The ones that are important to us. Us, individuals, the people that we are. Let's talk about those. Because we have a lot to talk about. Oh, do we have a lot to talk about. So I have my palette already set up. I actually did some sketch lines already on this canvas, which I'm going to make sure is nice and stable. Because I have an idea, and it's actually uh, kind of a woman holding a sword. We're going to do some sort of background. I don't know what the background is going to be, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive into it. We're going to see what we make. We're going to do some stuff, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do some stuff. So I'd like to uh, talk to you all about some things. You're probably already wondering, what things, what things uh, could our Saturday night have to possibly talk to us about? Oh, and before I get too far along, uh, we are here in my studio. Um, if you didn't know, that's where we do our things. In the studio. And uh, this studio space, it's a lot of different things. So let's even talk about that for a moment. This studio is where I come to join you to kind of talk about whatever's going on in my life where I share painting with you. It's where I share magic with you. And let's be fair, a lot of magic goes on here. Not just uh, the magic of art, but the magic of togetherness. That probably doesn't make sense, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We gather here in my studio to share thoughts, to share moments, to share memories. We 
gather here in my studio to share painting and drawing and storytelling. Oh, thank you so much for joining us, KDJ. Good to see you here. Uh, manicured nails. Oh, so they actually are pretty uh, well done today. I just did them shortly before this a very recording shortly before this very recording we started these nails so thank you for thank you for uh, commenting on the nails I actually need to get them properly done Real nice, you know, real special looking. Real special looking. Oh, I'm already, I'm already kind of um, getting off in the weeds a bit. But, you know, that happens. That happens. We have these moments where Can become very distracted. Very distracted. Well, thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. It is much appreciated. Much appreciated indeed. So just going to jump really quick back and talk about, you know, gathering here in this workspace, gathering for this kind of conversation. When it comes to these kinds of conversations, oftentimes they can be a little bit lackluster. And that's not because I don't want to give you a good conversation. It's actually because um, sometimes I get horrifically um, kind of just off topic. Like, my mind jumps somewhere else. And the moment it jumps somewhere else, I then have to remember where I was to begin with. And it's like, where were you? Where could you possibly have been? Where you just lost the plot entirely. And now other people have to pick up the pieces. Pick up the pieces of your lost plot. So that's something, like, I admit, I do it, it's something that happens. We all know it happens. What do you want from me, hmm? What do you want from me? Oh. Well, of course, uh, they are locked out of the studio. They cannot bother me in here. Most one fig, not one bit. Not one bit can they bother me in here. And that's a pretty good thing. Because I'll tell you what. They have too many needs. I can hear them already meowing from the other room. Their incredible needs for my time and my attention. Oh, my attention. See, that's actually the one that really is like, that's all you want from me, isn't it? You just want my attention. So we're leaning in a bit. Uh, let me just talk for a moment about the art aspect of today. We're leaning in a good bit on the more kind of interpretive, the more... There's words, and 
and I've lost them. Words and I've lost them. I need a little purple here. When it comes to all, all of this uh, art and enjoyment, sometimes I end up absolutely lost. Because I enjoy my art so much. I enjoy what I do so much. Uh, so actually, what? So this is a really, it's it's a very medievalist piece. Uh, so I have kind of um, those long dangling sleeves, those really loose sleeves, uh, and then um, what's considered uh, kind of an apron dress. Um, yes, this apron dress actually does have kind of a blouse style sleeve, but nonetheless, that's actually kind of what we're doing today. You know, getting um, these details into place for what will be actually a really nice piece. But it is, fundamentally, uh, very impressionistic. And also, it's, uh, it's gonna lean into that kind of abstraction. I really like, um, Short sleeve gown with long evening gloves. Okay, so if if you actually kind of uh, take a look, so I see like what you're mean, um, but so we do have a long gown and these upper uh, sleeves here, and then here we actually have these really big billowing sleeves. Uh, it'll all make sense as we go further along. Like, all of this is going to make sense. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't, and we're just going to accept that. If it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. If it does make sense, it does make sense. If we're happy, that's irregardless of... Well, not irregardless. Oh, that's not a word. Oh, I can't believe I said that. That's regardless of uh, whether or not everything makes sense. Long evening gloves. They're, they're too loose to be evening gloves. Too loose. Too loose. Too loose. Great character. Great character. Too loose. We're going to have to do a lot of um, work here. A lot of work to really make everything pop. A lot of work. But you know what? That's half the fun. That's half the fun. We don't know where we're going to end up. We can't uh, guess. Well, we can guess. Maybe we can guess. Regardless, you know, there's fun to be had here. Oh, so much fun. But I have images in my mind, and I have thoughts and ideas and... Stuff. 
and I want to capture that vibe, that feeling, that, you know, really love. But at the same time, I want to keep it loose and fun and avoid some of the pitfalls of seriousness. But I've already completely and totally lost what I was talking about, I think. Maybe I haven't. Maybe we'll find out together, hmm? Maybe we will find out together. Have I lost what I was saying? Do I even know? Do I even know? Of course I know. Or at least I hope I know. I should know the things I'm trying to put out into the world. Now, let's talk for a moment about the difficult, the difficulty of being an artist. Being an artist means that I have to put some sort of message across. I have to create something um, that is by definition meant to be consumed by others. A lot of what I make is rarely, if ever, going to really be enjoyed by me. That's kind of sh... It sucks. It sucks. Because I create all of this stuff. I make all of these artworks. And you're the ones who get to enjoy them. I enjoy the making and the doing and the being of it, but I rarely get to enjoy what it is. Like, that's just not something that I get to do. not something that gets to play into the means by which I create. It's not like I can sit here and be like, oh, well, this one's just for me. Um, but at the same time, Obviously, a lot of what I do, you know, I get to enjoy that process, right? I get to enjoy the making and the doing and the being of it. But I lose out on so much that, that you get to enjoy. The seeing the creation. And that's kind of weird kind of odd to me. Here I am making all these things, really getting a chance to dive in to my creative process, but in the end, there's a lot of it that I only get to enjoy as the process. Thank you so much. You are very kind. Very kind. Very kind indeed.
a bunch of stuff I gotta get done here, and honestly, who knows if it's gonna come out the way I want it to. Who knows? Who knows? There's things that I should know. There are things that I should know. There are things that I should be able to say, yes. That's the way that works. I'm babbling a bit, and honestly, if I don't babble, is it even art time? Elle doesn't think so. Elle doesn't think so. L. Like LBJ? We're going with it anyway. LBJ. You know, we're going to blame them. I don't know, that's the first thing that I thought of uh, when I saw the letter L. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why should I blame somebody who's not here? Maybe because that's the first thing my mind thought to do. Why is that the first thing my mind thought to do? Oh, I got you now. I got you. I follow. I follow this line of thinking now. I got you. I got you. Well, uh, for the sake of um, uh, something. Something. For the sake of something. We're just going to say LBJ. Because I can. <laughs> and no one can stop me. Well, I mean, they could. They can? They couldn't. But I'm going to pretend they can't. Someone can stop me. Oh, I just saw the movie The Mask. Somebody stop me. It's a good movie. Haven't seen that in many of forever. Many of forever. So I have just all sorts of ideas, like, ooh, look at this, look at that. And I'm just doing my best to work with those ideas, to create something beautiful, and to leave my mark. And I'll be derned if I don't leave my mark. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave my mark. I'm going to leave my mark on the world. I'm going to leave something for all of us. For all of us. And the reason I say for all of us is because art is transcendent. Art is something that goes on and on and on, and it doesn't need to fit into some nice, neat, happy bubble. It is something that exists whether the bubble explodes or not. Maybe that bubble should explode, right? What do you think? Maybe that bubble should explode. Exploding bubble. Alright, I'm going to take two seconds and let this settle because I want to think a little bit. I have a lot I can do here. I have so much I, I'm going to do. Oh my goodness. Let me just take a look at the screen. 
Like this right now, it's it's dramatic, it's unnecessary, it's stuff and things and things and stuff. Stuff and things and things and stuff and stuff and things and things and stuff. But um, I'm enjoying where I'm going. I'm enjoying the movement that I have forward. Movement I have forward. Now, more often than not, I end up in this position where I'm trying to make somebody happy. Now, on a good day, the person I'm trying to make happy is me. On a bad day, person I'm trying to make happy is someone far removed from me. And I mean, that's kind of an encapsulation of life in many ways. You spend tons of time trying to make someone happy. And less often than it should be, that person is not ourselves. So some of this is going to darken up for a minute, because I mixed some wet paints that I did not intend to. I did not intend to do that. I did not intend that. That was an accident. An accident. But, you know, if I don't make accidents, what the heck is even going on? What the heck is even going on? We need accidents to move further. So I'm going to have some really harsh lighting on this for a minute because there's some spots that need to be picked out. And you know, sometimes when that's the case, you need harsh lighting. You need places where stuff just doesn't look right. So that's what that is. That's some super harsh lighting to really get the face popping. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. I swear. Now, depending on where you're joining me from, uh, you're going to see a link pop up. Uh, that link is from my website. If you want to support me, please consider going to my website buying a shirt or a notebook the notebooks I'm really proud of obviously there's a bunch of other stuff you can buy but I'm just you know I'm giving you some ideas I, I don't mind giving some ideas here and there And uh, if you do that, it helps support the creation of more art. Support the creation of more art. That's what you should be doing, depending on whether or not you're already supporting me. And I say that you should be doing it, but also uh, don't feel that for any reason whatsoever, you have to do that. That is not some sort of weird, wild command.
Or maybe it is. Who knows? Who knows? So we're trying to... I, I'm, I'm trying to broach onto, like, a semi-ethereal quality here. To grab these uh, visuals, which are both uh, striking, but also are... Um, Not too much. Not too much. That's what we want. We want not too much. Because uh, our visuals should be both a striking, inviting, and at the same time, I just, I want that, like, power, that oomph. Where's the oomph? A theorial what? What a theorial what? I said ethereal. 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 But you know what? It's probably the microphone not picking up properly what I'm saying or, or, or what have you. What have you? What have you? How about you? Ethereal. That's the word I was trying to say. Uh, ethereal. Ethereal. E a t h r e a l. I had to think for a minute how to spell that. It's like I know this word. I know this word. I really do. I promise you, I know this word. I promise you, I promise you, I know this word. So now I'm kind of having fun with a little bit of wet blending here as we make our background pop. Let's make our background pop while well, kind of keeping, um, some of what is here. We should keep what is here. And more than just keeping what is here, we should also be able to like really get into it. Like, what is going on? What is going on with all of this? brush techniques here. Haphazard is, is, that's a fun word. What the hell am I saying? I'm saying ethereal. It starts with an E, and then goes to a TH, and then goes to an aerial. It's the thrill. The thrill. The thrill. The thrill. It's thrill. So now I just want to say it's silly. It's the thrill. The thrill. So serial, what are you talking about? Serial. When you question what I'm saying, I immediately what I want to say is silly. I should not say it's silly. Oh my goodness, why am I doing that? Why? Let's not be silly. 
Let's not, don't be silly now. All I can think of was the Mad Hatter for some reason. <laughs> so that's where we ended up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm going to stop that now. I'm going to stop that. Stop that. Stop that. And I have. I've stopped. But you haven't. You're still doing it. Why do I? Why do I do this to myself? Why? Why do I do this to myself? I've done it to myself. Myself. All right. So I'm going to get back. Are you under the influence? No, actually, I'm just having a good time. The uh, further I get away from the influence, the more I remember I used to be really fun. Really fun. Like unnecessarily fun. Why was I so fun? I gotta let that sit for just a second. Just a second while we continue on because I'm getting a lot more of our shapes and, and things in here. This is actually really fun for uh, like a fast painting. I'm getting a lot of different qualities here that I really like. A lot of qualities that I like. Also, look at, I, I gotta show you my palette, because, like, I'm using way too much paint for this. Look at all this paint. What am I doing with all this paint? What am I doing with all this paint? I do not have that much paint that I need. Maybe I do. Do I need this much paint? Uh, L7's in the chat if I need this much paint. L7's in the chat if I need this much paint. Or don't do anything. That's fine, too. Um, <laughs> I just, I have fun. I like to have fun. And I've just been not having fun. I've been feeling blah and just kind of like, uh, and blah. And that's a big problem. Like, that in itself is a big problem. Like, this feeling of, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Why am I bothering? And that's a problem. And I shouldn't feel that way. I should not feel like I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I should feel confident. And I should feel purposeful. And I should feel amazing. But instead, I just feel lost and confused and... Like... I don't have a direction anymore. But like right now, I'm having fun. And I'm not just having fun fun, I'm like, well, okay, actually, no, I'm, you know, I'm having fun, I'm having a good time. I'm having a really good time. Shouldn't, shouldn't we have a good time in our lives? Shouldn't we feel like, oh, maybe I've accomplished something? Maybe I'm doing something? But no. 
most of the time I'm just like, ooh, what in the world is going on here? But this, I'm not beholding myself to these unnecessary binds and influences. Going ahead and I'm saying, I want to do that, and I want to do that, and I want to do that, and that is beautiful. Bah! Bah, I say, bah! that there, that's just fun. It's being like, I'm going to make a noise. I'm not going to sit here and hold myself to whatever foolishness I should be doing. I'm going to make a noise and I'm going to like it. I'm going to create a piece of art and I'm going to feel it and I'm going to love it and it's not going to be great and it's not going to be the best thing I've ever done, but Dagnabbit, I'm gonna like it. Like, I'm just looking at the screen right now, and this looks so good. This looks so good, and it's so... Will I leave her alone already? Of course not. We're 42... This is 42 minutes of painting. 42 minutes of painting. I have stuff to do. Stuff to do. And because I have stuff to do, I have to go ahead and do it. I really need to just be here. To be here and to make this and to let this be whatever it ends up. I can't just sit idly by and let the art decide what it is. And sometimes that's actually something that I go ahead and advocate for. Like, let the art decide what it is. No. I'm the artist. Not the canvas. Not whatever is happening here. I am the artist. And I'm going to do what I want. She's done. Go do your nails. That's not how art works. That's not how art works. Nothing about that that is how art works. Blah, 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 words. We go until everything is right. And I think that's actually uh, going to be our important lesson of the day. Go until it is right, and under no circumstances should we go ahead and behold ourselves to someone else's vision. We 
are not someone else's vision. We are not. We're just not. I'm not going to go ahead and I'm going to make that complicated. I think that in itself is actually probably the best thing I can say today. Uh, we're not someone else's vision. We don't have to be someone else's vision. And if someone tries to make you someone else's vision, remember that you're not. You are not. You are a star. So that is my message for you today. That is the moral of our story. If our story had a moral, it does not. You are your own beautiful work of art. be so lucky one day as to be our own beautiful work of art. Should we all be so lucky as to find where we're happiest? lives mean the most to us. Sometimes I got a lot to say. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't even think there's anyone listening to what I'm saying. And that's okay. think we have to sit around and concern ourselves with all that hootenanny. Hootenanny! Maybe someone out there right now is listening and understands. I know that there's some people here right now. I can see you, right there. What I'm saying is, stop and think.
Exactly. What? I don't know. Maybe you know. Regardless, um, we're calling this a painting. Uh, delirious. Uh, heavens no. And I've eaten plenty today. Plenty, plenty, plenty. But I have a lot on my mind. And honestly, I think that's kind of nice. Good to have something on your mind. Even better when it feels like you've said something. But I never got to a single point I actually intended to make today. So that's a thing. That's happened already. Yeah, that's messy in the corner, but you know what? It's what it is. Here is our incredibly quick painting. It's very impressionistic. It's... It's bad. But I made it. And honestly, that's something that in itself is worth a lot more than half of what I've said. I took the time and I made my painting and I've done the thing I wanted to do. Uh, am I happy with it? Uh, no. No, I'm not happy. Actually, I decided I don't like this at all. Uh, but it's made. It's made. So we're going to call it a day. Um... Depending on where you're joining me, uh, you can go ahead and let me know if you would like more art videos, uh, no matter where you're joining me, whether that is uh, YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn, or Twitter, wherever you might have joined me from, please let me know if you would like more of these art videos where we paint, where we draw, where we do this fun stuff. Uh, and if you would... We'll do more. But until that day comes where I know you want more, uh, we're going to be doing it the way we have been. And uh, so we kind of have like a burning skyline here and like a really dark, uh, you know, it's the idea of a castle in the background, but that's it. And this very overly dramatic sky for no reason and super impressionistic abstract landscape and the bare bones of a woman with a sword and her hair flowing in the wind standing on a rock. That's the painting. It was pretty good. Maybe I'll try to do more to it later. Maybe I won't. Otherwise, I've already signed it. I've already put my initials there. It's done. It's done. It's it's what it is. Um, I don't know. It's artwork. It's art. It's art and it's done. So, please make sure to let me know whether or not you uh, enjoy these live streams, whether you enjoy this live painting, uh, artwork, whether you like drawing, or whether you like hearing me tell stories. Um, I never got to finish a, th a single thought today, uh, so maybe next time, maybe next time. Take care, be well, be excellent, my friends. I will join you again all very soon. But until then, I hope that you enjoy yourselves tremendously. Take care, and I will see you in the future.